in this example, we're going to be finding slope given a graph. Now, my graph is now very drawn to scale. And in the actual question, you will have a graph in a grid where it will look much more nicer. And you want to look for perfect points, okay? So I have um, chosen the two points. They're not too perfect. Like this one is really off. So somewhere there. Your graph will look so much nicer. Keep that in mind. This point is negative 4, comma 1. This point is 4, comma, negative 5. So you're given a graph with a number line, with a line, a linear line, right? And they're asking you to find the slope. What do you do? Well, you look for two perfect points. I mean, no decimals. It has to be whole numbers. Um, and then you say, well, what am I going to use? You're going to use this low formula, which is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. For this, in order to use this formula, you need the two points. So it's right here. Negative 4, comma 1, 4, comma negative 5. Label your points. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Now we're simply going to substitute in here. So negative 5 minus 1 over 4 minus negative 4. Negative 5. Minus 1 gives you negative 6 over 4. Negative times negative, positive. Negative 6 over 8. You can simplify this by dividing top and bottom by 2. Negative 3 over 4 is your slope for this linear line. Okay? Now we have another question that I ask you to find the slope given a equation. You have a linear right here. The question says 3x plus 3y equals negative 7. Well, I want you to rewrite this equation into slope intercept form. And how does slope intercept form looks? It's like this. y equals mx plus b where the b is the y-intercept, the m is the slope, okay? I'm going to solve for y. I want it to look like this. Start by subtracting 3x to both sides. 3y equals negative 3x minus 7. Then I'm going to divide by 3 both sides. y equals negative 1x minus 7 over 3. Now, I want you to tell me, break this down, this equation for me. Slope integer form is in slope integer form, which means that I can just look at it and tell you the information, okay? What is the y-intercept? Negative 7 over 3. What is the slope? Negative 1. So my slope is negative 1, okay? So you had an example where you were given a graph. You had to pick two points to determine the slope using the slope formula. You did that. Then you had another example where you were given an equation, a linear equation, and they were asked you to find the slope. You solve for y to rewrite the equation so it looks like the slope intercept formula, right here, form right here. And you're able to just look at it and tell me the slope and the y-intercept. Slope is negative 1. Okay? You will have another example where you will be given two points and you need to find the slope. If I am given two points and I need to find the slope, what would I need to do? I would need to use my slope formula. Okay? So, I think we can fit it right here. 3 in 1. My two points are 7, comma, A, 10, comma, negative 3. Step 1, label my points. It's 1, Y1. It's 2, Y2. Step 2, what formula am I going to use? My slope formula, right here. Then I'm going to substitute this into my formula. So I have negative 3 minus A over... 
10 minus 7 gives me negative 11 over 3. That's my answer. So again, recap. Let's go back. You were given a graph to find the slope. You chose two good points, used your slope formula, substituted, and gave me the slope. That's one. You were given an equation, right? Linear equation. You needed to find the slope. You rewrote it. You solved for y, right? So you rewrote it, this linear equation into the slope intercept form so you're able to just look at it and tell me the slope, which is negative one right here, okay? Third part, different question. One, two, three, different question. You were given two points and you were asked to find the slope. When you're given two points, you should use the slope formula. Substitute those points into the formula and get your slope. 